Hi everyone, my name is Billy from Piano and Pies. Uh, this is the video tutorial for Here Comes the River by Patrick Watson. There are three main sections in this song, and the first section that we'll start with starts off with four chords. And if we get those four chords, it means we can get through most of the song. So here we go. The first chord is what we call a B minor 7 chord. And your right hand's going to play all the notes we need. So we have with your thumb a B note, D, F sharp, and A. That's going to be most of what we play in this first section. Your left hand does hold some notes of B and F sharp. And the first chord will sound like this. And what I was doing, I was holding, for every three chords in my right hand, I was holding this uh, just for what air uh, for three. And you can count along with it. In my head when I'm playing along I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the first chord. The second chord is an E major chord. And the way we're going to phrase that chord is like this. B at the bottom of your right hand. E in the middle and G sharp at the top. And your left hand's going to play E and G sharp, and it follows the same rhythm that uh, the previous chord plays. So when I put those two chords together, it sounds like this. The third chord that we need is an A major chord, and A major sounds like this. And that is just A, C sharp, and E in the right hand. And in the left hand I'm playing an A, followed by an E. Again, same rhythm as the previous chords. The final chord, we, we're going to actually split into two chords actually, and the last chord starts with a D major chord. D major starts with A in the bottom, D, then F sharp at the top. Left hand's going to play D and F sharp here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And then for the four, five, six, what we're going to do is lower the two D notes, like you can see here, down to C sharps, which turns it into an F sharp minor chord. So that last part, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So a little bit fiddly, but nothing too crazy. So here's all four chords in one go. Once you've mastered that, what you can now do is change the rhythm slightly. Sometimes in between parts of the verse when he stops singing, usually over the D and the F sharp part right at the end, um, he changes the rhythm slightly. I'll give you a demonstration of that. I'm going to go from the A chord, the third chord, into the D chord and you'll notice right at the very end the chords will change rhythm. So right at the end, there's a little pattern like that, I'll just play that slowly. So it's together, at the beginning. So when I put that all together, you could put, you could put that on every chord, but from what I've seen, when, when, he plays it on, uh, when he plays it live or on the actual track, it seems to be at the end of those sections. So we have this. skip there, and there, and there, so for the first section feel free to add in those skips as well, he seems to do it every so often, it's pretty inconsistent, 
um, especially when he plays it live, but it's a really good thing to, to include. It just makes it a nice varied rhythm. The second section, this is when there's a high melody in the right hand and some chords in the left hand. The chords that you need to play in the left hand are the same as section one. So you have the B minor, so it's your left hand playing those chords, up to E, down to the A chord, and the D chord, then the F sharp, and that's going to loop round. Whilst at the same time you have your right hand playing Those notes to E in the middle, I'd use your index finger, going down to A, up to E, then you've got the high A note and back to E, so you've got, and then finally A, E, it's just three notes, low A, there's a high A in the middle E. Now when you put that together with the left hand, and then starts repeating. It took me a little bit of uh, time to get used to that, so it might take you a bit of time as well. Um, slow it down. Um, so I'll play it really slow, just over the first chord. So you can see sometimes the right hand plays in between the chords. I'd really try and slow that down. Keep this hand automatic if you can. It's just plodding away with the same three notes and this hand has to slot on top of it. And we do it on every chord. So the third section is very similar to the second section. Your right hand plays the exact same thing, and so on. Your left hand actually plays the same notes, but what we're going to do, instead of playing them together, like the second section, instead we're going to break the notes up into essentially an arpeggio, and oh, that just means breaking the notes up really. So we have this. So what I'd really recommend is get really used to playing those chords in your left hand and all that happens is that your left hand plays the lowest note first, then the middle, then the highest and it loops around. Then it goes to the second shape which is the E major, then the third chord A major, just breaking up the notes lowest to highest, then the D chord. And what I'm going to do is go back to that B minor chord and I'm going to slowly play two hands together so you can see how the notes work together between the two hands, like this. So you'll see that the A note falls in between some of the left hand notes. You'll hear it again. So that will take a little bit of time to get used to, but in a nutshell it's very similar to the second section 
And once you've got all those parts, you know the three main parts to get you through the full song. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. Um, I hope it was useful and um, I hope you, you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, the usual deal. And um, if you want a tutorial making on a song that you really like, feel free to write in the comments. I also have a Reddit thread for this video um, on the subreddit for Piano and Pies. All the links are in the description below, so you can follow those, you can get in touch with me that way. And, um, and then hopefully I can make a video for a song that you like. Finally, please consider um, joining my Patreon. I've got a few perks and uh, it really just helps the channel grow. And yeah, I'd really appreciate that. However, thank you very much and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.